Okay, so this is my induction furnace setup as is right now. Uh, right now I'm just melting down motor parts. Uh, there is an aluminum cans, but I don't like to melt aluminum cans because you get a lot of debris. This is out of wiring. And basically, I think it's a... Uh, well, it's garbage that's inside the aluminum and it causes the aluminum to not heat up correctly. Uh, not thoroughly, anyway. Uh, Right now, there is a graphite crucible inside there, and it's inside of a ceramic cup. But I have different types of induction coils. Like right there, that's a clay one. It melts metal faster, but I'm not using it right now because I have such a small crucible. I went and ordered a bunch of other crucibles. Uh, there's my cooling tower. Uh, this is already melted. I don't know. This much aluminum. But it's like, they're like three inch blocks, like three inch by an inch to, yeah, an inch and an inch and a quarter. Uh, they're still hot. Basically, induction furnaces melt quickly. So this batch is already, already finished. I take out this stuff on the top with a spoon. Aluminum doesn't get as hot as copper and stuff. And I put it there. Put it inside this uh, graphite. Uh, it was a graphite block that I carved into holding these. When it's perfectly square inside, but when the blocks cool down, they get just a tad bit smaller. And when they cool down, you can actually take them out by shaking it. There you go. Came right out. It means that it's cooled down enough. And then they come out as perfect blocks. Well, you see how square it is. It's not perfectly square because the milling, uh, milling uh, bit size. So it's kind of rounded on the corners. So the cooling tower is just connected to the coil. Just keeps the coil cool. And right now it's just warm. Even though I melted those blocks right there, the water is just warm. I can still, I'm putting my finger inside right now so you can tell it's not very hot. So the cooling tower works fantastically. Uh, if you put your hand here, you can feel a little water droplets coming out because it's dissipating the heat so fast. Uh, I melted copper. I've already melted copper and brass in this. It's the same crucible. You shouldn't mix crucibles because then you get garbage, contaminants inside the uh, metals, and you really don't want contaminants. So let's go ahead and hopefully. Hopefully I'm directing the camera in the right, right place while I'm doing this. Oh shit. Let's put that back inside. Uh, my pattern. Uh, whatever you call that. My block maker. Well, anyways. Yeah, well, my pattern wasn't up correctly. Let's take this out without breaking it. And then pour. Hopefully I'm directing the camera in the right place. And then I just put that back. And then I start putting metal inside. This is just a, a ZVS type induction furnace. Make sure that goes inside. Just a ZVS type induction furnace which works just fine. Um, a Royer flyback driver. I believe these... Uh, MOSFETs are connected in parallel, so it's just th uh, three Royer flyback drivers connected together, and they feed off of each other's signal, so they all work in comparison to each other. Once that graphite crucible gets hot enough, then I can use a torch, and I can start, ooh, I can heat up this metal and then it will start going inside the crucible faster. It's the heat, heat dissipating on the top which uh, makes the metal slow down and it's cooling. The faster it gets down inside the crucible, the faster it will melt because it's actually not the uh, metal that's melting inside this induction furnace. Indu in induction furnaces, aluminum and copper doesn't melt well, but graphite is really uh, resistant to current so 
because of that, it gets really hot. It's like having a really thin wire. The electricity is trying to move through these thin wires inside the carbide, carbon, carbon crucible, graphite crucible, and because of that, it gets really hot really fast. You can see the crucible is glowing. So now it's already going down. If you use a gas type induction, uh, a gas type furnace, then it takes a lot longer, like 30 minutes. But I'll have this melted in uh, 10 minutes or so. Uh, go ahead and add some more metal. Uh, these blocks, I guess. Or not. Well, this has got uh, magnesium inside, the aluminum magnesium and. Magnes. Magnes 